Hello friends, welcome to the 69th session of Hybris tutorial. In this session, we are going to learn a very important concept. We are going to learn how we can open a dot class file in Eclipse. Guys, if you are a Java developer or if you are a Hybris developer, and you are working on the Eclipse, there will be the multiple instances when you need to see the code present in a dot class file. For example, this is my Eclipse and this is my hybrid code setup. And here you can see I have written one cron job. And if I need to see this file, guys, as you can see, this file is present in the out of box code. It is a, there is a dot class file present for this class. If I try to open this in a conventional way, you can see I am able to open this type of file. And if you see this file structure or file location, you will find that this is a dot class file. So this is a dot class file. That is why I am not able to view all the methods or all the code written in this file. So the question is how we can, you know, open a dot class file, how we can view the code present in a dot class file. That is what we are going to learn in this video. And guys, you will be using this concept very frequently in your project. So this video is going to be very informative for you. So guys, to open a dot class file or to decompile a dot class file, what you can do, you need to install some plugin. For that, you need to go to the Eclipse Marketplace. Like I am going to the Eclipse Marketplace. So I have just gone to the help and then I have uh, selected the option Eclipse Marketplace. So then this type of window will get opened. And once this window will get opened, this is going to take some time to load. Okay, because it will be basically opening the all type of the plugins which are available in the Eclipse marketplace and this will take some time. Once it loads, then you just have to search over here enhanced class something like that and you just have to press enter like I have just written this string enhanced class and I have just pressed the enter. Okay, so this uh, plugin is available enhanced class decompiler 3.2.2. Okay, I will just install this uh, this uh, plugin and I will be able to view this um, this dot class file or I will be able to decompile this dot class file. But apart from installing this plugin, you need to do some other changes as well, which I am going to tell you in this video. And guys, if you search this enhanced class, right, and if you are not able to see this plugin, then it means you are using the old version of the Eclipse. So you need to take the or you need to download the latest version of the Eclipse and then you will be able to view this plugin. So I will be giving you the link to download the Eclipse in the description section of this video. So you can just download the latest version of the Eclipse in case you are not able to find this plugin in your current Eclipse setup. Okay, but for now I have the latest version of the Eclipse and if I just show you the latest which version I have in the Eclipse, we can just see about Eclipse IDE. So you can see this is the version I have. This version was released in the June 2021 and there can be the other latest versions as well present in the market. But in this version as well, I have the Eclipse uh, enhanced Eclipse decompiler uh, plugin, right? So I will be just installing that uh, installing that plugin, which I just showed you for that. I will again go to the Eclipse marketplace and I will again search for the enhanced class decompiler plugin and I will just install it. So I will just write over here enhanced enhanced class. Okay, something like that. And guys, once I get this option, I will just click on the install button. As you can see, I have just clicked on the install and then I'm clicking on the confirm. So you can see now the installation process has started. I just have to select this Boolean box to uh, agree on the license agreements and then I will click on the finish button. And once I click on the finish button, the guys, then it is saying that this is basically its authenticity cannot be validated. So you just have to click on install anyway. Okay, and with this, this installation process has now started up. It's 83%. And once the installation is finished, 
then eclipse will ask you to restart it so i'm clicking on restart now and then we will again try to open the dot class file if we try to open a dot class file you will still see that you will not be able to open a dot class file or you will not be able to you know decompile a dot class file so we still need to do some more changes that i am going to tell you so let's wait for this eclipse to get restarted and once the eclipse gets restarted then we will see what other changes which we need to perform to in order to open a dot class file so guys once the eclipse is started then we will have to do some more changes so for that what you have to do you just have to click on the window tab and then you just have to click on preferences so i have clicked on window and then just have to click on the preferences then i have to go in the general okay in the general you will see the editor so you also have to follow the same steps then you have to click on file associations okay so this uh, option you have to click file associations so here you have to bind this dot class and dot class without uh, dot class and dot class without source with this editor with this newly downloaded editor so you can just click on the like dot class and then you just have to uh, you know bind this dot class file with this editor like this and then you have to click on default button like i have clicked on default okay similarly you have to you know click on dot class without source and then you have to bind it with the class decompiler so i am clicking over here class decompiler view and then i am making it default for dot class without source file type as well so i'm clicking on default okay and then i will be clicking on apply and close so i'm clicking on apply and close now my work is done now if i guys if i see this abstract job performable you will be able to see that now i am able to you know open or view or decompile a dot class file as well i'm clicking on abstract job performable and you can see i am able to you know view the code present in this file so you can see previously we were not able to see the code present in this abstract job performable now i am able to see in this you can see we have this is abortable method which is a very famous method if you have uh, worked on the cron job so it is returning the false value similarly this is also one of the important method clear abort request if needed this is used if we uh, receive a abort request in that we use this method so i hope guys now it is clear to you how you can you know view open or decompile a dot class file you will be using this concept very frequently so i hope this concept is now clear to you and guys if you like this video do share this video with your friends thank you for watching bye